and we're back and hello everybody and welcome back to some more shenanigans in sneaky sasquatch of course because you guys know that every single time we're getting a new update sasquatch is back at it again and we're just about to have a little bit of fun here try to see what the game is all about uh because apparently this new update for sneaky sasquatch is not going to just introduce a few updates uh, a few bug fixes actually i want to say that are going to fix up tape number 40 but also quite a few more things which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to be able to meet some new characters in the game. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the only way we're going to be able to meet these characters is if you actually put on uh, the VR goggles. Look at that! So as soon as you put on the VR goggles, you can actually see some rat coins floating about. Are you kidding me? And also, there's a brand new duck over here that this one usually we cannot actually see if you don't have the VR goggles. Look at that! You cannot see them anymore. Are you kidding me? This is the most epic update ever. I absolutely love that developers did that. Because VR goggles are actually unlocking so many new things for us that we had no idea that they're going to be a thing in the game. Oh man. So if you guys don't have the VR goggles just yet, you have to go ahead and grab them. Because this is definitely the way to go. So let's just see what this guy's going to say. Hello? I'm Virtual Duck. Wait, is this one an AI duck? There are 1,064 virtual coins remaining. What? We gotta find 1,064 coins. Are you kidding me? So now I'm gonna have to look for virtual coins around? Come on, game. Perhaps in Dirt Racetrack, you shall find one. The coin will reset. Uh, we're actually, the coins will reset once every lunar interval. Oh. What? So these coins, of course, you are gonna have to find 1,064 of them. But if you don't find them in time, or even if you find them, eventually they are going to reset. Uh, and if you want to check how many uh, you still have to find, I'm going to be guessing we got to come on over and chat with this fella. That is so cool. But what I really, really want to get here are these virtual coins. Oh, listen to the sounds. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to look for these coins absolutely everywhere because I have absolutely no clue where we're going to be able to find them. Uh, which means we're going to be doing some more exploration uh, in Sticky Sasquatch, trying to explore absolutely every single place that we already know. And there might actually be even some uh, digging hole locations that you can only see if you do have the VR goggles on. So I'm going to be guessing we're going to be playing with the VR goggles again, just enjoying the 8-bit Sasquatch. And this is so cool. The developers have done it again. They have always, always outdone themselves with these updates. That is just the best. I'm really happy that developers keep on doing these updates uh, because we kind of keep on requesting a lot of things from them such as uh, airport updates or multiplayer or any other updates that we keep on requesting them. But they keep on coming out with all these really creative updates for us that we would have never expected. And this kind of feels like more of a tiny Sasquatch now to be honest. <laughs> Imagine the developers would have actually been inspired by my tiny Sasquatch game and introduced uh, these updates here. That would have been absolutely amazing if they did that. <laughs> Man. And I'm just, of course, saying this because in my Tiny Sasquatch game, that's how you collect coins. The coins are going to be floating about, just like in the 8-bit uh, mode here. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Love that they did that. Now this feels like Tiny Sasquatch. All right. Let me collect as many coins as we can possibly find. Of course, it's going to be coins in the water. Probably some coins in the uh, hidden cave. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I'm going to try to find every single one of them, all 1,064, I think it was, uh, coins. But I'm wondering, uh, when the game resets, right, when the moon interval resets, so are the coins locations also going to reset, I wonder? I'm super curious about that. Super, super curious about that. Of course, it's not going to be a great strategy to make a lot of coins in the game because, as you can imagine, 1,000 coins is nothing uh, compared to how many coins you can actually get by doing all the strategies. And, of course, just spending some time exploring the world again and looking for these coins, it's going to take quite a while. Uh, definitely more than one real-time hour or something like that. So, yeah, there are definitely going to be a bit of strategies to get a lot of coins in Sneaky Sasquatch. This is just a fun little quest that you can do. And I'm going to be guessing that if you do that, we're probably going to be getting something, some sort of a reward uh, from the um, Virtual Duck. Really curious to see what that's going to be, of course. But until I'm going to get to that stage, uh, we got to keep on looking for a lot of coins. So, let's just keep on running around. Keep on looking. And hopefully we can find all the possible coins. Uh, let me also make my way inside this cave behind the waterfall. We might have some coins here or we might not have some coins. I don't know. 
We just gotta check. Also, at the same time, let's not forget that I'm also supposed to look for some digging holes. Because there might be a few. We, of course, are 100% of the game. We have all the, all the um, digging holes. We have all the chests collected. So all we find right now is gonna be brand new stuff. Which is gonna be the virtual, virtual reality stuff. Alright, no coins over there. I guess I'm gonna be making my way into the RV campground and collect some more coins. And there's coins everywhere. Look at that. Absolutely everywhere. It's gonna take a while because every single one of these coins is just gonna give us one, right? And we gotta find... Wait, is that a mushroom? Yes, it is. Uh, we gotta find 1,000 of them. That's gonna be insane. I should have put some money in the bank to make sure I only have one th uh, like a, a, an exact number. In, or myself, so I can know exactly how many coins I actually collected. That coin seems to be going inside the cave, and that is actually telling me that there might be more coins inside the cave, so let's keep on looking. But we'll do this, of course, we're also looking for the tapes at the same time, which is not bad. Uh, oh, there we go! More coins! <laughs> and more coins over here as well. Oh man, there's gonna be so many spread all across the map, in every single one of the locations. Now, from what I know, uh, from developer notes, right, uh, if you're updating the game, you're actually able to kind of see a few information, a little bit of information about what this new update is, uh, has brought us. And the developers are saying that this new update is not only fixing up the bug in tape 40 that we're not going to be able to collect, so we're going to have to look for that, uh, but also... It's introducing two virtual reality characters. So we only met one duck. So I'm going to be guessing there's going to be two more that we're going to be able to meet. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to have to try to spend as much time as possible looking for them. And see what other quests they're going to have for me. So many coins everywhere. Look at that. Coins. Give them all to me, buddy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And what is super great about this is that if you feel like you got all the coins that you could possibly find, you can always make your way back home and chat with the duck again. And he's gonna let you know if you're missing any coins or not. Uh, let me look inside here. Nothing. Let me also look inside here. Nothing. <laughs> but we do have some coins going to RV camp number two. There we go. And of course, there's gonna be a bunch of coins going around the lake. It seems like these coins are always on a batch of three by the looks of it. Yeah, look at that. There's three here. There's one, two, three over here. So there's always going to be like three batches of them. I get it. In the meantime, let me go to the radio station and see if he's going to have any coins inside. All right, so we got one, two, and three. Again, as I was saying, stacks of three. One, two, three over here. Perfect. Ooh, I thought that was a new character. For a second there. These are these coins are gonna take me outside probably outside of the um campground here, but I don't want to go outside just yet. Just wanna check the back of the station here. Oh man, I'm super duper curious now to see what type of uh reward I'm gonna get. I mean of course the reward is already the uh, money, right? Because you're collecting coins every time you're going on these roads, but at the same time, we might get a reward if you collect all the coins and return to the duck and chat with it. Hopefully that's gonna be a thing. I don't know. I don't really know, but I hope so. There we go. And let's keep on looking around. Pretty sure there's going to be a bunch of coins. Just going all around the maze. Because finding 1,064 of them means there's going to be a lot of coins spread up everywhere. Look at that. Oh my god, the maze is absolutely filled with coins. I knew it. I mean, look at this. There's one coin in every corner. <laughs> oh god. So you're going to have to explore the world once again. Search every nook and cranny in order to find every single one of these coins. Of course we have to. Well, in that case, let me go to the right side here. Actually, hold up. Are there going to be any coins hidden where the chest is? The answer is no. So no point to go all the way there. But I'm just going to grab these coins and then make my way back. Alright. Next up, I'm going to go on the main path of the maze. I think nighttime is already coming. Seriously, I just woke up. We just woke up and nighttime is already here. 
The great thing about it is that when I woke up the next day, uh, we're gonna have Halloween. So that means I'm gonna be able to get myself the tape in the cave. There we go. Three more here. Three more on this side. Perfect. Got three more over here. I would love to be able to see these coins floating about uh, without using the VR mode. All right, there we go. We got them. Awesome. In that case, let me just fast travel all the way back home. And of course, I'm going to just jump into the bed and get some sleep. But at the same time, let's see how many coins we got so far. Ooh, there are 903 virtual coins remaining. Jeez, are you kidding me? So we did manage to find, uh, I think, 160 something. Yeah, 160 coins so far. So we still have so many more. Perhaps in Dirt Racetrack, you shall find one. The coins will reset once every lunar interval. I'm hoping the lunar interval doesn't mean uh, as I go to sleep and wake up, right? Hopefully not. Maybe it's like one year. Uh, and I, when I say one year, I mean one real life year. Alright, there we go. Uh, let me get some food real fast. Thankfully, we are full of food. Look at that. We have so much because we have made our way to the port. And we got ourselves a lot of burger and beef jerky. There we go, buddy. Alright, let's look around. As I want to jump into the bike and make my way to the racetrack, I guess. Keep on looking for more coins. Let us see how many we can still find. Ooh! Are you kidding me? Look at all these coins! <laughs> so many! There we go. Awesome. That's a lot of coins. Okay, we're gonna have a few coins, of course, in the intersection. With a stack of three. At the same time, hold up. Let me check and see if we have any coins. Uh, I need the binoculars. What about on this path? Nope, no coins over here, but we are gonna have some coins taking us to the golf course. And I think I may just switch to go to the golf course then. Yes, we can collect them while riding the bike as well. Awesome. Oh no! I get. I guess it's my fault, buddy. I was going the uh, wrong path there. Let me also go this way because I may have a few more coins as you exit the campground. Yes, we do. We, of course, missed a few. So there's one and two. Perfect. And as I was saying, I really, really want to see what I'm going to get in return once I find every single one of them. They do kind of seem to be spawning on the main paths. For example, I haven't really seen any of them spawning on these kind of like hidden locations such as this one. They're always kind of like on the main roads every time. Even, even, even in the um, cave as well. So no coins inside shops. I haven't found any coins uh, currently in the buildings. There we go, look at that, on the path, on the actual path, so there's not going to be any coins um, on the golf course itself. Maybe only on the path around the golf course we can find a few coins. Uh, but first, let's just check the track over here at the top. And as again, as I was saying, look at that, coins only on the roads. Uh, I'm also going to make my way to the left side, which is not going to be the roads. Just to see if there are going to be any coins, as well as up here. Because again, keep in mind, we got to find 900 coins. Where am I going to be able to find 900 of these coins? Because that's a lot. But keeping in consideration that developers are spreading uh, these coins in stacks of three, it's definitely going to be easier. Because whenever you're seeing one coin, there's going to be multiple of them. It's not going to be just one. So the multiplier is there. Alright, and the next set of coins is going to be on the bridge, taking us to the golf course. Now, this is where I'm expecting to be able to find a lot of coins all around the golf course, right? No, that's just three. Seriously. Okay, never mind. Another set of three. And so far, we have nine on the golf course. That's 12. We got 16 here. Oh, God. Alright, they go 19. Yeah, as I was saying, all around the golf course is gonna be coins. They're not really that close to each other, but that's enough. That is still good enough for us. Uh, let me also jump on this thing because this may be a little bit faster than the bike.
And the last set. Perfect. Uh, I'm still gonna check that secret path on the right side of the golf course. Uh, just in case there are gonna be a few more coins over there. Uh, let's also remember that there's gonna be a cave, a secret cave inside uh, past the golf course actually. But the only way I'm gonna get there is if I jump on a boat. Let us see if we're gonna be able to find any coins just floating on the river. Oh god, this is gonna be really slow. Uh, so let me get me a faster boat. No, I want the super boat. There we go. Thank you very much, buddy. Because we gotta use this one. Oh, look at that. There's coins on the river. I knew it. I mean... This is gonna be a little bit difficult to grab. <laughs> and let's not forget that there's gonna be also a part of the river that's gonna take us to the hidden cave that I'm gonna try to get to as well. Oh, man. This is gonna take a little bit of work to collect these coins. Yep, this ain't gonna be easy. Are you kidding me? It's probably gonna be a little bit easier going down. Yeah, you know what? Let me collect these ones as we make our way down. In the meantime... Look at that, we got quite a few there. I'm gonna go back for them. And on the road there, we're gonna collect as many coins as possible, and then I'm gonna try to collect these coins again as I'm gonna make my way back down. Man, but this is not gonna be easy. Controlling this boat is not easy. Because the river keeps on pushing us. I don't know if there are going to be any coins up there. Probably not. Ah, uh, look at that. Coins on the lake as well. Yep, just expected. Alright, we're going to definitely have to come back at the lake then. So apparently there's not going to be coins inside the lake or inside the ocean. Probably all the coins that you can find are going to be on the uh, top surface of either the lake or the ocean. Alright, and as I was saying, probably no coins in here. Hold up, I need the flashlight. Yep, absolutely no coins in here. Ooh, there's a digging hole though. Is this a digging hole that I didn't see before? Hold up. Let me just take the VR goggles on, off actually, and uh, see if there are going to be any coins. So is there going to be a digging hole? Ah, it is, never mind. I'll bet this is a digging hole that I never collected. It's kind of crazy that I still find stuff in the game, eh? Although I've been playing this game for years now. <laughs> I still keep on finding these hidden stuff. Alright, in that case, now that we're done with this, let me make my way back home. And of course, get some sleep. There we go. Brand new day has started, and a brand new journey to find more coins. We gotta find 800, seriously. That is a lot of coins. That is a ton of coins. Alright, uh, let's grab that. Let's grab this apple. One apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now, what about inside the puppy's house, I wonder? Nope, nothing in there. Well, in that case, uh, I'm actually gonna grab my bike. And let me make my way to the racetrack. I know that I still have to check the uh, ocean, the river, and the lake as well. But at the same time, let me also collect all these coins on this side. As we're then gonna be completely done with the racetrack as well. And we can only focus on the bottom part of the map then. Alright, that's more like it. Uh, let me also grab a big car so we can easily collect all these coins. So, no coins over there. Let me check real fast inside the car shop. Yeah, look at this. The coins, you cannot really find them uh, inside, like, buildings. I've only managed to find these coins outside of the buildings. Every single one of them has been outside of the building. Man, collecting the coins with a vehicle, like a fat vehicle like this one, is definitely much easier. Compared to uh, looking for them with a bike. Uh, let me just check inside here, nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any coins inside structures. All of them are going to be outside. Okay, hold up. I missed a few over there. Keep on missing a lot of them. Um... They're having quite a few on the parking space, eh? And the great thing about it is that even if you kind of collect all the coins from a different uh, location, but you do miss one, and you make it back to the duck, he's gonna tell you how many you are still missing, and it's also gonna tell you the location where you could go ahead and find those uh, missing coins. So that is really awesome. And again, as I was saying, nothing here because this is really not a main path. 
we only explored currently the main path, and that's only the uh, location we could find coins. That is good to know. Alright, in that case, let me make my way to the podium at the racetrack. Because we might have a few more coins over there as well. Man, hopefully once we're going to be done with this mission, uh, we are going to unlock the ability to meet another person, another NPC. Maybe another duck, or maybe a new bear. I don't know, virtual reality bear. And they're going to give us even more uh, missions. Hopefully that's going to be a thing. There we go. What about up here? Anything? No, that's fine. Alright, uh, let me of course grab this. And as usual, no coins, not even on the actual uh, lake itself. I'm still gonna make my way inside the lake, just because we are still not 100% sure if there are gonna be any coins inside the water. There haven't been any floating on this uh, lake here. And if I check... Yeah, no coins inside the water either. Alright, that's perfect. Good to know. Alright, and let us carry on through this side. Keep on getting even more coins. The racetrack is probably going to be absolutely filled. The entire racetrack is going to be filled with coins. Uh, let me actually go on their path as well so I do not get pushed by them. Yeah, look at that. Oh no, I missed. Let's go back. Grab this one and keep her going. Again, there's absolutely no reason to look on the sides on the grassy area because these coins are only going to be on actual roads. Either dirt roads or main pavement road like this one. Alright, and I think we are completed then at the racetrack. Perfect, let's get out of here. Because with the racetrack completed... Um... Hold up, before I actually get out of here, just to make sure, again, go inside the buildings, nothing. Inside this building, nothing. And inside our home, nothing. Alright, good to know. Well, with all this done then, what I'm gonna do next is make my way to the marina. I'm not gonna check in town just yet, because I need a boat. And I keep on getting more of these coins that are going to be all around the ocean. I knew that they're going to be in the ocean. Look at that. They're going to be absolutely scattered around the ocean. These are going to be pretty difficult to find, all of them. I know that there have been a few of you guys telling me that you are having difficulties finding the, uh, the tape on the middle of the ocean. And I cannot imagine how difficult this is going to be where we're going to have so many coins that we got to look for. Alright, first of all, let me focus on the river, and then I'm going to try to start focusing on the ocean itself. Come on, bud. Not to mention, we have three parts in the ocean, right? We have the island part, we have our own island part, and we also have the main deep ocean area that we got to check for coins. So these things are going to be spread absolutely everywhere. And of course, we're also going to have the dirt racetrack, where there's probably going to be quite a lot of coins as well. Come on, come on. There we go. Grab this one. Go back. Back up, back up. Oh, it's so difficult to control your boat on a running river. No, oh, I missed one. Uh, I'm also going to take this path at the top here, just to make sure. Yeah, look at that. This is not going to take us anywhere. Oh, never mind. So there are going to be a few coins uh, at the bottom of the bridge that is taking you to the uh, town. Interesting. So good thing I just tried to take this path. I would have never found those coins if I didn't. Alright, come on. Just a couple of more coins and then we're going to make it to the lake. No, I missed one. There we go. This is definitely the best uh, boat that you need in order to do this because the super boat is a little bit way too fast and super spurn way to control. Alright, hold up. We got one. Hey, 
it is quite difficult because you're collecting these coins one by one. And keep in mind, you got to collect 1,000 of them. It is going to take a while. Uh, there's not going to be like real, really big coins like we have in Sneaky Sasquatch, like you have in Tiny Sasquatch, where if you grab it, uh, that's going to be worth like 10 coins or something like that. But uh, you know what? I love it. I absolutely love it. I was also kind of expecting us to also have maybe like some hidden uh, digging holes that you got to dig. But you can only see those digging holes if you do have the VR goggles on. Oh, wait, what? I didn't know you can make your way here with the boat. Was this here like for a long time? I had no idea you can make your way here with the boat. Are you kidding me? Well, this is brand new to me. <laughs> this is definitely brand new to me. Because, I, I mean, I knew that we had this legendary fish that had a water, but I knew that this path was closed by boulders, and apparently it has now been opened. Huh. I wonder if, since when was this open? Weird. Really weird. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let me keep on collecting all the coins on the lake. Because there's going to be a lot of them, apparently. I'll try my best to collect every single one of them. It's not that difficult, because every single time you're actually riding one of these boats, uh, the screen, the camera is kind of like zooming out a little bit, allowing you to see a little bit more of the lake than you would if you would have uh, used the canoe. Come on, buddy. Almost there. Got this one. And that time is already coming again. Jeez. These are passing really fast in this game. Almost there. And there we go. We got it. Awesome. We got every single one of the coins, I think at least, uh, in the campground area. Perfect. With that done then, let me just make my way back to the marina. Get some sleep over here because next time we wake up, it's going to be the town. Alright, there we go. Brand new day. Now, let's also not forget that we're going to have uh, the roads in between the town and the campground that we're going to have to, of course, go ahead and check. There's probably going to be a lot of coins on that road. Oh, not to mention the mountain pass. That's also going to have uh, tons of coins. And I just noticed there's a lot of coins on the beach side as well. Hmm. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Uh, at the same time, let me go on the binoculars real fast because there might be some coins on the other side of the beach. No, no coins over there. All right, good to know. Good to know, but there are going to be some coins to get us to the ferry. So first of all, let's just eat up one more time. I'm actually going to go with the burger here. Go. And let us search ink. We might just need to find 600 more at this point. Pretty sure we already got more than 100. Since we last uh, visited the duck. Uh, at the same time, uh, I'm actually going to jump on the car and make my way down here. Because, of course, it's going to be even more coins. I don't remember if I see any coins on the beach side over here by the river. I, yeah, I don't think there are going to be because I don't remember seeing any. I specifically looked as I was uh, making my way up the river. So yeah, nothing. All right, let's go back then. There's coins everywhere. There we go. And that is done. Oh, let's not forget, we also have the sewers. Man, we have so many locations. So many brand new locations. And although I'm saying brand new locations, they have been in the game for a long, long time. Alright, we have the road taking us back to the campground, but they don't seem to have any coins on. I'm not going to even bother to check the buildings, to be honest, because I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any of these virtual coins. Um... Outside of the roads. I'm pretty sure the coins are only going to be on the roads. Either dirt roads or main roads. And I think there's going to be some coins on this path between the buildings. No. Yeah, look at that. Only on the roads. Interesting. And while we're at it, of course, I'm just going to grab some of the coins from uh, my investments here. Investing into the island in the spaghetti place is definitely the best way to do it. Because you are getting a lot of coins without even doing much work. 
All you gotta do is just come on over and collect uh, your coins uh, from time to time. That's all you gotta do. There we go, buddy. Thank you very much. And uh, let's keep it going. What about the parking space? Hold up, buddy. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to hurt you. Uh, what about the parking spaces here? Nope. No coins. But of course, there are going to be a free coins taking us to the main road back to the um, campground, which we are going to have to uh, check. And I think I'm going to do it at the end of this day. But until then, let me keep on going on the road. What about the parking space for the police station? I don't think so. Nope, no coins in the parking space. No coins over here. And there's definitely gonna be a bunch of coins at the port as well. Oh, look at that! Another VR guy! I knew there's gonna be another one! Yes! And so it's not gonna be a VR uh, duck, this one's gonna be a VR dude. What is he doing? He looks like he's playing games. What are you doing, buddy? Hello? Oh, this one is a virtual boy. I can exchange your prize tickets for coins if you like. I'll give you 3,457 tickets. Is that how many tickets I have? Do I have to buy anything else with all these tickets? Because I definitely don't need these tickets anymore, right? But I wonder. He's giving me 3,000 coins for 700 tickets. Hmm... I think this may not be such a good deal because you could actually go ahead and buy the nachos with those tickets. I think you need 10 tickets for one nacho, right? Uh, and one nacho is going to be worth, I think, 100 coins if you're selling it to the right dude. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to do a little bit of math here. And see how much money we can get if you're actually selling the nachos themselves. So yeah, 10 of these tickets uh, means that we're getting one nacho. So if you spend uh, 100 tickets, you're getting 10 nachos, right? 100 tickets, 10 nachos, that means we're getting 70 nachos. Okay. And 70 nachos... Hmm. You know what? I think this is a better deal. If you're just buying nachos with these tickets and selling them to the trash bear, you're actually getting about 7,000 coins instead. Hopefully my math is correct and I'm not a dumb dumb. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's definitely a better deal. You could go with that or you could just simply sell them to this dude. And of course, get yourself um, instant 3,000 coins. Are you going to get a reward by doing that? I really, really don't know to be honest. I really, really do not know. So what I'm going to do instead, let me actually get myself a lot of nachos. And then I'm going to start selling some of the tickets to that dude. Just because I want to see if I'm going to get something in return out of it. I don't know. I just want to check. I just want to check. So, let me get myself a lot of these nachos. Oh, never mind. They're out of stock. <laughs> so, I'm going to be guessing in order to get more, you're probably going to have to reset the day. And then you're going to be able to go ahead and uh, get quite a lot more nachos. Anyway, uh, we got a few. And the rest of them, I'm just going to sell all the tickets that I have. Just for some points. Why not? I don't really need the tickets. We already bought everything that we did with the tickets. Uh, I can always go ahead and get me more if I need to. So let's just see what's going to happen here. Alright, buddy. There we go. And he gave me a lot of coins. Awesome. Unfortunately, no reward or anything. <laughs> that was so cool. If you had any, that is. Uh, I'm guessing this guy is a gamer, right? So he really loves those tickets because he's just using them to go back to the arcade and play more games. That's what he's doing. And as I was doing that, I also noticed that quite a few points behind Arcorp here. Uh, and in order to get to them, I'm, I'm going to have to go through the sewers, of course, eventually. Uh, pretty sure there ain't going to be any coins in the building itself. But I'm not going to do the sewers just yet. For now, let me just go to the port. 